Mm, very wow. scary. From coast to coast uh, and even the Great Lakes, rip currents present a hidden danger for families enjoying the sun and the fun in the water. According to the United States Life Saving Association, swimmers getting dragged out account for 80% of beach rescues. A man vacationing in Miramar Beach died saving his children from a rip current, as did another swimmer and the Good Samaritan who tried to help in Miami. These tragedies remind us of, you know, to find ways to make sure that we stay safe while enjoying the waves. White Werneth with the American Lifeguard Association now joins us now to talk more about this. And, you know, thank you so much. This is certainly, uh, you know, a danger out there um, that many people not, may not even realize. So what's the key thing that you want to remind people when they are coming to the ocean, usually for the first visit of the year? All right. Good morning, Jim and Jen, and happy uh, Easter weekend and good Friday. And those are good points to make out. Absolutely. Um, the first thing that we tell everyone to do is most definitely swim near a lifeguard. If you can find a lifeguard st station, you can go to the lifeguard and ask them whatever the conditions are. Another thing is watch the Weather Channel. We love to watch it ourselves. Yeah. So when you're out there, you know, on post, if you will, what, what are you looking for to spot a rip current and what can beachgoers look for as well? Well, it, it takes a bit of a trained eye to identify them. Um, one of the things that we look for is the beaches that we have out here have these little slopes in them. And everywhere there's a little deep spot. If you can imagine, if you ever set your towel down on the beach and the water comes up and gets it wet, that's an identifier that there's a rip right there because the water's coming up and on each side is higher ground. So that usually gives us a, a, an indicator. Or you can look at the waves and see how the waves are breaking. It takes a little bit of a trained eye. Yeah, but, that's um, a good point. Uh, Absolutely, but an individual can see from the slopes in the sand and also ask the lifeguard, they'll point them out for you. Yeah, and now another danger we want to talk about actually away from the water's edge. How do digging holes contribute to injuries and even deaths at the beach? Yes, we do have that problem up and down the coast about hole digging. Uh, we even have an organization here in Cocoa Beach called Beach Rangers, and believe it or not, one of their primary jobs is to go around and cover up holes and point people out that are digging the holes and tell them to stop. But they present a problem for uh, joggers. Uh, we have a big turtle preservation society here. Turtles will crawl out of the water and land in them. So, uh, we have a dog beach down here in Cocoa Beach, and dogs end up in them, small dogs. And a lot of times the dogs are even the ones digging the holes. So that can be a problem as well. Yeah. So why we're not telling everybody not to dig them entirely, but just fill, fill them back, back in. in right. Fill them back in fill before them back you leave. In, please, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, have a good yeah. time, but be mindful. Uh, take your trash as well. And remember to uh, keep the beach the way that it was when you found it. Yeah, oh, so, that's a great point. Yeah, so, so you know, obviously it's keeping on that sand theme. Sand can burn you, too. What can people do to protect themselves against those third-degree burns you get on the bottom of your feet with sand? You know what? That is a very uh, hidden danger that people are not aware of. It, you know, the temperature outside can be 70 degrees, and the sand will still heat up to about 100. So the most important thing to do is bring your footwear. If you come out early in the morning like this, it's a little bit cooler. By the time it warms up, getting back off the beach could be a problem, but always bring footwear. I've seen up to second-degree burns on the bottom of the feet, and the sand can get up to about 120 degrees. Wow. Wyatt Werner, thank you so much for joining us. Wyatt with the yeah. American Lifeguard Association. Some great advice, Wyatt. Yeah. We appreciate you, buddy.